Music has its notations, but how would you transcribe the work of William Forsythe? That's just one of the questions a multidisciplinary group at Ohio State considered when developing the Synchronous Objects website. I love dance because it's a physical charge. It's very dynamic. There's incredible precision of timing. It's a huge skill that's really, really fun to do. Now, as I work more on choreography, I'm really interested in the ways that you shape motion and how do you make it exciting and interesting for an audience. And William Forsyth does that best. Bill received the Wexner Prize in 2002. We're doing this exhibition of Bill's installation and his uh, video related work that show his idea of how he's extending choreographic thinking into new forms such as video, as well as a sculptural installation that also is serves as a performance installation, as well as a whole section devoted to the new web project he developed at OSU, as well as material that relates to the evolution of that web project. We have had this opportunity with the Synchronous Objects Project to bring together a group of students who come from different disciplines like computer science, design, dance, art, working together to understand um, what their disciplines bring to a project like this, but also to come to some understanding about what other disciplines might bring to their work. So in the beginning, I was not really understanding all of this, but then as things moved along, I sort of started to see all these different relationships. Well, for dancers, we'd like to communicate better about what we do, so we feel it's important to make ourselves more readable. So when we started to talk to Bill about the project, we said, who is the audience? And the answer was everybody. So we thought about what it was we needed to do to communicate with everybody. Using computer graphics, using animation, these are very contemporary ways in which young people are used to seeing information, and they're very um, effective ways to take lots of information and translate it so they're understandable. We would all gather in a conference room with our various expertise and talk about what each discipline saw in the dance. There were animators, dancers, computer scientists, and people from the geography department. And it was fascinating. We had a geologist come in and take um, positional data on the dance and map it onto a plane to describe the density of use of space. And so we noticed how the space in the dance was being used in a way that a dancer could not see. This is a, a research into a kind of proto-literature for dance where other people could look at a dance as it plays out on a video and with these annotations um, overlaid upon them, could we understand very quickly what this dance was or how it was organized. He was really open-minded for us to uh, try new things and, and let students ourselves experiment. I think the goal of it is um, to give viewers another way into dance that isn't just through the dance. So you could take a look at some of the video abstraction tools on the website and maybe understand the dance through a video um, artist's work or you could understand it through an animator's work or geologist's work. It gives you these different routes into the dance that did not exist before. This is the first time that there's been a significant showing of Bill's installation works in this country, and particularly a body of his work that can be shown at a place like the Wexner Center at OSU, which is also sponsoring the development of this new web project. So it kind of shows the important resources that a major university can bring for an artist like Bill. It's not every place you can go to that can say, yes, we can do this full range of activity. I think he was attracted to ACAD and the Department of Dance because of this unique collaboration that we have. I think that is one of the advantages of a big university like Ohio State. We have lots of expertise on our campus. One of the things that ACAD uh, serves as, a, as an umbrella or a gathering place for multidisciplinary approaches to problems. O OSU uh, is a no-brainer because uh, the Dance Department and ACAD are connected, and I don't know where else this exists. OSU had everything in place that I needed, so what's very interesting is that no one was trying to define the way uh, things should be. Everyone's saying, well, what else could this look like? So there was this wonderful kind of feeling of, of a palette of opportunities being offered, and that was very, very relaxing. That's our show for today. From The Ohio State University, I'm Chris Forbes. Thanks for watching.